Hey guys, it's Aaron Buck and your multi-sport coach. And welcome to my phase three, improving your running technique. So the first exercise I've got is what I call a low ankling. So this is um, replicating uh, like you're running on the toes. I recommend you get yourself a barbell. If you haven't got a barbell, a broomstick is totally fine. And um, get yourself a flat surface. Obviously a, a running track is more ideal. So the bar is gonna come over the back in a squat position. Now just from here, you're up on your toes. It's low, so it's not up too high. All right, so we'll progress to um, medium and then up to high, but for now, I just want it low, right? Okay, back. So that is the low ankling. So I recommend 30 to 60 seconds by three sets of that. Okay, so that's gonna be a good start. Right, the second exercise I've got, so we've done the three count on the wall, alternating um, legs. So this time we're progressing into a five count. So with your hands here, right, make sure your hips are forward and it's one, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, so it's important to make sure that you're pushing that ground pressure down. Right? We're starting to get that proprioception starting to happen. Right? So that's a really great exercise just for improving that proprioception with the feet. It's also going to concentrate on getting your hips forward as well. Okay, so like the next one is like what we call the claw. So this is teaching you that leg technique. All right, so you can come up against a wall and just from here, keep the leg up. Start it here and we're just down. I'll do it in slow-mo first. Pushing back, back to here. One, two, Three. Okay, keep the body upright. So we start to speed it up now. One, two, three. One, two, three. It takes a little while to get it right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two times each leg. I'll change sides so you get another view. Here. One, two, three. Feel that drag along the ground as well. Speed into it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wow, that really gets those hip flexors arms working well, and it's teaching that proprioception again of the foot coming through on the travel, right? So as I said, I want to do 10 sets of the three reps, okay, on each leg. The last one is gonna be what we call a kneeling start. So find yourself again, a flat spiral track. Come down here, a kneeling position. I want you to push off the glute, get that glute to work. Keep the belly button in, so it's just from here, opposite hand forward, your running position, and off you go. Okay, so you can see, if you're not super strong here, like you're gonna be a little bit slow off the mark. Important thing, change legs on the next one. From here, draw the belly button in, 
the glute's gonna fire. Okay, get in that quad. Keep the core engaged. Opposite hand forward and go. And you'll start to get a little bit quicker each rep that you go. each leg, 10, 10 total, come down, so we're starting to work on a lot of the fast twitch like muscle fibres which is important to get your speed right, come down, hands, Do a couple more. Just like making sure core is engaged. This glute is working hard on that lift here. That lift, fire it, pushing off that. I'll do one more. Last one. Just getting that acceleration out of like this leg here. Okay, so there my kneeling starts. Great to teaching those fast twitch like muscle fibers to activate. It's when it's time to push hard and you really want to get that speed happening. Right, so that's what we're trying to create there. So a bit of proprioception arms with the feet on the uh, ankling and the alternating arms leg counts. And then obviously just some technique stuff as well, making sure we're getting that right. And then just incorporating a bit of um, activation of the fast twitch like muscle fibers. So that's my phase three. Thanks for watching guys. I can help you. Check out my website, aaronbarkin.com.